One vaccine that's not covered by the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program is the COVID-19 vaccine. And that's because those vaccines were approved using the Emergency Use Authorization Process or EUA process. When that process is being used, particularly during a public health emergency, there's a different program that's similar to VICP, and it's known as the Countermeasures Injury Compensation Program, or CICP. Now, these programs are similar, but they have important differences. First, people who want to request compensation under CICP only have one year to request that compensation. And second, the, pro the process is purely administrative, meaning there's no legal aspect to the process, unlike with VICP. If someone wants to request compensation after getting a product under the countermeasures injury compensation program, they need to submit a request for benefits package. That includes a form that can be downloaded from the CICP website, proof that they received the countermeasure in question, in this case, COVID-19 vaccine, and they need to submit medical records. They need to submit uh, medical records about what happened when they received the countermeasure product, as well as medical records for one year prior to receipt of that product. And the preference is those medical records are submitted by a healthcare provider, but it is the responsibility of the claimant to make sure those records get submitted. Now, during COVID-19, about 13,800 requests for compensation were submitted related to COVID-19 vaccine receipt, and that's out of millions of doses that were given throughout the country. Unfortunately, that staff is small, and it's taking time to go through those requests so that by April of 2025, only about 4,100 requests had been reviewed in completeness, and of those, most had been denied. Now, this, the reasons cited for the denials were because either the claimant didn't file on time or there were records that were not submitted, and so the, they were denied compensation. The program is continuing to wait for medical records for several of these other claims that remain outstanding. As COVID-19 vaccines are licensed, one of the questions that will come up is whether they'll be uh, moved over and covered under the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. If that happens, an excise tax of 75 cents would be added to the cost of each dose of vaccine, just like all of the other vaccines covered under that program. A second question then would come up, which would be whether the existing CICP claims would also be moved over to the VICP program or whether they would be finished out in CICP and only new claims would go to the, the VICP program. Thanks for listening today.